move. He must have used all his water filling the river. We need another plan. <gasps> if you remove plants in the fire's path, it can stop the fire from growing. It's called a fire break. Excuse me? You want to remove plants? If we don't, they'll burn down anyway, and it'll make the fire harder to contain. I understand. You're my hero. One fire break coming up. Got a dash? Be back in a flash. Speed power! <laughs> Any other ideas? I know what we can do. Rangers, head to the Kaleido Jet. We're going up. Constructo Max, construct fire retardant. This fire is not letting up. We really need water, but because of the drought, there's none around. Which is why the plants are so dry, making them quick to burn. I know where there's lots of water. We have an Olympic-sized swimming pool at our mountain house. Which I use once a year. You can't have my water. Okay, but without it, you won't have a fancy glamp site anymore. Fine, use the water. I'm a giver. <sighs> Here with me, Floof. Can you do something about that smoky smell? My sniffer is very sensitive. Tutti Fruity for Mr. Snooty. Hmm, you smell good. Uh, for a ranger. Everything we tried worked a little bit, just not enough to put out the fire. Separately, the ideas didn't work. But if we do them all at once, logically, we'll have a better result. Let's do it! Great job, Rangers! I hope you both realize how dangerous your behavior was today. When you're in the forest, you need to be very careful with fire and anything that can cause a spark. Especially during a drought. It was all because of that smoke bomb. We should have just had a cake instead. It's never too late for a cake, and we can put a ton of candles on the top to celebrate. No candles! Fine. When trouble comes, we're on the way. 